knows? Who knows what's real? That's what Diddy's lawyers, I think, said. It was like, yeah, these are just trumped up charges. Not trumped up. I don't think they said that, but like, like the charges. Dude, when Homeland Security invades your house. You got problems. With dudes with... What's going on with Diddy's freak-off parties? These A-list celebs might be sweating now. Joe Rogan just exposed a new list of stars who are at these crazy events. You won't believe who's on it. Can you imagine what goes on behind those closed doors in Hollywood? Well, it's about to get real. We're talking about some of the biggest names in the game here. Rappers, actors, NBA players, even some squeaky clean celebs you'd never expect. This video is going to blow the lid off the whole thing. We've got names, dates, and some wild stories that'll make your jaw drop. Trust me, after this, you'll never look at some of these stars the same way again. And it's not just about the gossip. This stuff could change everything we think we know about the rap game and Hollywood. Some careers might take a hit. Others, they might be over for good. You ready for this? You think you know who's who in Hollywood? Think again. This list of party attendees is like a who's who of the entertainment world gone wrong. From A-list actors to chart-topping musicians, no one's reputation is safe. But here's the kicker. It's not just about who was there. It's about who tried to warn everyone else. Let's start with the warning signs. Some celebs saw the storm coming and tried to sound the alarm. Khloe Kardashian, Ashton Kutcher, and Jenny Mullen were among the first to raise eyebrows about these parties. They weren't just being paranoid, they knew something was off. And they weren't alone. Usher, 50 Cent, and Cat Williams also started dropping hints. Even Ray J was like, hey, maybe we should think twice about this. But did anyone listen? Nah. They were too busy chasing the next big thrill. Now, let's talk about who actually showed up to these wild nights. We're talking major star power here. Leonardo DiCaprio, Beyonce, Jay-Z. Yeah, you heard that right. These aren't just B-list celebs trying to make a name for themselves. These are the top dogs of Hollywood. But wait, there's more. Paris Hilton, Justin Bieber, LeBron James, the list goes on and on. Even Howard Stern and Russell Brand were in the mix. Can you imagine that party? It's like the Grammys, the Oscars, and the NBA All-Star Game all rolled into one crazy night. Now here's where it gets real. These aren't just random parties we're talking about. These are Diddy's infamous freak-off parties. And let me tell you, they lived up to the name. We're talking about stuff that would make even the wildest spring break look tame. But here's the thing. Now that the heat is on, everyone's scrambling to distance themselves. It's like a game of hot potato and nobody wants to be left holding the bag. Suddenly, all these A-listers who were happy to party with Diddy are acting like they barely know the guy. You've got celebrities deleting old Instagram posts, untangling themselves from business deals, and straight up denying they were ever there. It's like watching a magic trick. Now you see them, now you don't. And it's not just about saving face. For some of these stars, their whole image is on the line. Imagine being a family-friendly pop star one day, and then boom, you're linked to these wild parties the next. That's the kind of PR nightmare that keeps managers up at night. But here's the real question. How many of them actually knew what was going on? Were they just there for the glitz and glamour, or were they in on the darker side of things? That's what everyone's trying to figure out now. And let's not forget, this isn't just about the entertainment world. We're talking about power players from all walks of life. Politicians, business tycoons, even royalty. They were all rubbing elbows at these parties. It's like six degrees of Diddy, and everyone's trying to put as many degrees between themselves and him as possible. You think Hollywood's in chaos? Wait till you hear about the political fallout. From the Oval Office to Buckingham Palace seems like everyone's got some explaining to do. And trust me, their PR teams are working overtime. It's not just A-list celebs who are caught up in this mess. We're talking about some of the most powerful people in the world. Kamala Harris, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, even British royalty. All of them had connections to Diddy at some point. Now they're probably wishing they could erase those photo ops from history. Remember when Diddy was posting selfies with Obama? Or when he was hanging out with Trump at Mar-a-Lago? Those were the days, huh? 
But now, it's like crickets. Nobody wants to admit they ever knew the guy. And it's not just about being friends. There are whispers that some of these big shots might have helped Diddy stay out of trouble. You've got to wonder, was there some kind of deal going on behind the scenes? Were favors being traded? But here's the real kicker. All these celebs who used to be all over Diddy's social media, they're singing a whole different tune now. It's like watching a magic trick. One minute they're best buds, the next, poof, they've disappeared. Take Justin Timberlake, for example. He used to be in Diddy's videos partying it up. Now, radio silence. Or how about Mark Wahlberg? They were tight for years. Now you can't find a single recent picture of them together. And it's not just about avoiding Diddy. Some celebs are straight up calling him out. 50 Cent's been dropping hints about Diddy's behavior for years. Now he's going all in, posting on social media about how he always knew something was off. Unlike having risky friends like Diddy, we promise it won't cost you anything to like our video. Share your views in the comments section and smash that subscribe button to see new videos from Lux Stories. Even Diddy's ex, Cassie, is speaking up. She filed a lawsuit against him, accusing him of some pretty serious stuff. It's like the floodgates have opened and everyone's rushing to get on the right side of history. But here's the thing, why now? What changed? Is it because they finally realized what was going on? Or is it because they're afraid of getting caught up in the scandal themselves? You've got to wonder about the celebs who are still keeping quiet. What do they know? What are they hiding? It's like a game of celebrity Jenga, and nobody knows which piece is gonna bring the whole thing crashing down. And let's not forget about the fans. How are they supposed to feel about all this? One day, they're looking up to these celebs, buying their music, watching their movies. The next day, they're finding out their idols might not be who they thought they were. It's enough to make you question everything you see in Hollywood. Is anyone really who they say they are? Or is it all just a big show, with everyone playing their part until the curtain falls? Hollywood's not the only place with secrets. The sports world's got its own drama brewing. How did LeBron James and his family get tangled up in Diddy's web? It's time to connect the dots between rap royalty and NBA nobility. You might be thinking, what's LeBron got to do with all this? Well, it turns out a lot more than you'd expect. These Diddy parties weren't just about music stars. They were like a crazy mix of the Grammys and the NBA All-Star Game. LeBron James loved these wild nights. Can you imagine? One minute you're watching him sink three-pointers. The next he's rubbing elbows with Diddy and Hollywood's elite. It's like two worlds colliding and not everyone's happy about it. But here's the thing, it wasn't just LeBron. Diddy's parties were like a who's who of sports and entertainment. You had rappers, actors, and athletes all in one place. It's like Diddy was the ultimate connector, bringing everyone together. But now, that connection might not be something to brag about. These parties weren't just your average get-togethers. They were known for being over-the-top, lavish affairs. The kind of events where anything could happen, and often did. It's got people wondering, what exactly went down at these parties? And more importantly, who knew what? Now, let's be real for a second. LeBron's a family man, right? So why was he at these crazy parties? It's got fans scratching their heads. Was it just innocent fun or was there more to it? It's the kind of thing that makes you look at your sports heroes a little differently. But it's not just about LeBron. This whole situation is shining a light on how celebs from different worlds mix. You've got rappers hanging out with basketball stars, actors partying with athletes. It's like one big, messy family. And now that family's got some explaining to do. Remember when being seen at a Diddy party was like hitting the jackpot? It meant you were in, you were cool. Now, it's like a game of hot potato. Everyone's trying to distance themselves, pretend they were never there. And it's not just about the partying. These events were where deals were made, where careers could take off. But now, being associated with these parties could be career suicide. It's crazy how fast things can change in the celeb world. What's really wild is how this whole thing is changing, how we see these celebs. 
LeBron's not just a basketball player anymore. He's part of this whole complicated web of relationships and influences. It's like peeling back the curtain on what really goes on in the world of the rich and famous. So, what have we learned today? Diddy's freak off. Parties aren't just wild nights, they're career killers. These A-listers thought they were untouchable, but now they're running scared. From Leonardo DiCaprio to politicians, everyone's trying to hide their dirty laundry. But here's the real question. Why do we keep putting these celebs on a pedestal? They're selling us a fantasy, and we're buying it hook, line, and sinker. It's time for a reality check, folks. Next time you see a rapper flexing on Instagram or bragging about their latest party, think about what's really going on behind the scenes. Is this really what success looks like? Is this what we want our kids to aspire to? It's time to start asking some hard questions. Who are we really looking up to? And what are they teaching us? 